whirlpools, maelstroms. They are some of the world's most fascinating phenomena. They are all inspiring, they are deadly, while somehow managing to be amazingly beautiful. Let's dive in and explore everything you ever wanted to know about whirlpools. Hi, I'm Jerry. Welcome to Eventful Globe, your guide to eventful events all around the globe. In our last video, we took you to some of the world's most amazing whirlpools. After gathering your questions about whirlpools, we've created this video to answer the top four. Number one, are they dangerous? Yes, don't dive into a whirlpool. Whirlpools are deadly. They continue to claim many lives and their notorious reputation from ancient lore is well earned. The most iconic depictions show Milstrom swallowing entire ships whole, but this is largely fictionalized. Many accidents involving whirlpools cause boats to tip over trapping victims under the wreckage or pulling them into the funnel. Although disasters occur at well-known sites of whirlpools, many are in places where whirlpools aren't typically found but have formed temporarily due to a confluence of conditions. What are the conditions I hear you ask? I'll cover this in the third question. Stay tuned! One of many famous whirlpool shipwrecks includes an accident when George Orwell nearly drowned. Thankfully, he survived and went on to complete his famed novel, 1984. Number two, where to find whirlpools? We saw some of the most beautiful maelstroms in Naruto whirlpools. To see what we saw, check out our video. Prior to visiting, we had no idea Japan was home to some of the biggest and most spectacular whirlpools in the world. Of course, Japan isn't the only place where you can find these amazing water whirls. Whirlpools are most famously found in Norway, where the term maelstrom was coined. Norway's maelstroms date back to hundreds of years of lore, with its most famous whirlpools found in Saltstroman, where each day hundreds of billions of gallons of water soar through these straits. Saltstroman is the world's strongest maelstrom, with speeds that have terrified sailors for centuries and continue to threaten boats today. Two other famous whirlpools are found in Scotland and Nova Scotia, Canada, each with their own colourful mythology. The Old Sow in Canada is named because it sounds like a squealing pig sucking in millions of tons of water. Well, Corvigan in Scotland was believed to be created by the hag goddess of winter using the golf to do her washing. I don't think I'll ever find my kilt if I dipped it into that torrent. Number three, how are whirlpools formed? Put simply, whirlpools are formed by opposing currents of water. Although a variety of factors such as winds and barriers can create conditions for a whirlpool to form, Many of the largest and most famous maelstroms are created by the massive force of opposing tides. As the tide begins to move in, millions of gallons of water start moving in the same direction. As the tide water gains velocity, it can meet an opposing current, for example, an ebb current of the last tide. These opposing forces create a vortex, and in some cases, multiple vortices, which take the form of these epic spirals the size of entire ships. Finally, number four, are they useful? We still haven't found a way to harness the power of naturally forming whirlpools. That's it. Some companies have developed turbines that can be driven using artificial man-made whirlpools, which are especially useful in remote communities. Maybe one day, Event for Glute will come to you via Whirlpool Power. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out 
our video on where you can climb above and sail into whirlpools. Thank you so much for watching. If you're twisting and twirling in delight, please create a vortex around that like button and climb aboard by clicking the subscribe button. Be sure to tap the bell for notifications. We'd we'll love to have you on board the next time we have Eventful Glow.